So here she is, all uh, road legal, MOT'd, taxed, insured, with the uh, badass steampunk manifold. Delorto 14 12. I need to go to the shops and get some coffee and some bread and some milk, so I thought, what better opportunity to share with you guys? Hopefully, one kick. Yeah, one kick. Promise that was completely legit. I am squidding it up. Because I don't feel threatened by 30 mile an hour, even though I should. That is assuming we're even going to make 30. Made 20 before the end of the road. Whee! Clutch engagement, second gear. I've, um, I was an idiot, I left it out in the rain. So there's a little bit of water on the spark plug wire, hence the slightly juttery engine. Look at that, 30 mile an hour. The Speedo is utterly worthless. It's cable driven and held on by a brass tang that... Yeah. On the upside, the jetting is right for the weather. I jetted it on a um, moderately warm sunny day and can feel the difference when it was wet yesterday. I took it for a, a quick pootle up to get his MOT and it was f***ing atrocious. Oh, no mirrors really does suck. Let's see if we can sneak through this gap. I live at the bottom of a very steep hill. Which is entirely not ideal for this kind of equipment. But we're going to tackle it anyway. And fourth roll, I am a fat so this is going to be funny. I'm down to 20 mile an hour already. Keep checking behind me. Come on, shift down. There we go, once it shifts down, <laughs> 15 mile an hour. Whee! Oh, it's trying to shift up. It got there, it's going to want to shift straight back down again in a second. This is where we start winding up cars, something rotten. It will make it up the hill. Keep an eye on my six, make sure no one's pulling any really dodgy overtakes. This feels like walking up a hill. Uh, it's f***ing terrifying, frankly, in modern traffic, but ho-hum. Hey, the road is empty. Let's get some top hill advantage here. Be careful for people overtaking me coming up to the roundabout. Because you do have to move out to take the correct lane. It's kind of like riding a push bike. Except a bit noisier, probably a bit slower. I think I'm actually technically speeding at this point. I'm gonna move out. Can we beat this Mercedes across the roundabout? <laughs> yes, we can. Carry as much speed into this hill as possible. No time to indicate. Oh, 20 mile an hour. We're nearly at the top. Come on, don't run out of puff now. Come on, downshift, you f***. Yes, there we go. Check behind me again. Oh, do not tell me you're turning in here. I saw a flash of an indicator. We've heated up now, we're slowing down. I think I've got the jetting ever so slightly wrong because it does slow down quite a bit when it's warmed up. This is the way we spend our lunch hours around here. I'm going to chuck it in here like an arse where it says don't park. Hey, that'll make me go faster. 
Spaz milk. Oh, here's the game, is it still there? If not, I've got a long arduous walk, it is. I wonder, does a can of Valentino Rossi fit? I think it does. Oh, seat doesn't go down. We just have to sit on it. Oh, it's going to start raining now. It's going to sap the remaining half a horsepower that I've got. All right, come on, one kick. No, don't be silly. Nearly. That sounds like a running engine. Turn my indicator off, so if I fit through this little gap. Oh, eating over the roundabout. This is downhill. This is going to get seriously exciting. Might even be physically possible to speed. The sound of the engine's increasing, but the speedo isn't. Oh, it! <laughs> Go on, stop! <laughs> oh, now the lights change. Downhill's much more fun. Pigeon. I haven't even got the throttle on and I'm doing 25. Better get some two stroke oil run so it doesn't seize. Can't engine brake for too long on a two stroke. Daddy. Oh my god, you need hands of steel for these brakes. It's harder than my clutch. High school. Sorry for out your eardrums and such. Look, the speedo got up to 30 and then it just dropped back off to 25. What is this? Anyone would think the whole speedo system wasn't brand new. Yes, my milk's still there. It's all good news. So yeah, there we have it. I'll, um, I'll cut the footage in, obviously, of going fast, but that's the terrible Thomas, Terry the Thomas. 50 quid out of a um, farmer's shed. And probably cost me... Uh, maybe another 150 plus a bit to get it back on the road. 150 on parts and time and paint and stuff, which is completely mucky now. I need to give it a polish. Um, and then probably another 50 on DVLA and MOT and paperwork and stuff. You have to pay to get the um, V62, which is the document that says uh, I don't have a V5 because it's some old <laughs> came out of a barn. There we go. Totally unsuitable for modern traffic, totally hilarious. I will be keeping this for quite some time.